Hey guys, welcome we'll back to Amori. Let's carry on where we left off. We've got uh, Space Boyfriend in bed right over here. He could potentially tell us where Basil has gone, who has been missing. But first, we need to recover Sweetheart's mixtape and play it on his boombox so we can get up. So, we're going through that portal to get to the junkyard, and, well, apparently... Is this it? Wow. It's the snazziest junkyard I've ever seen in my life. Can't believe they're throwing planets in here. We've got Earth, we've got Mars. There's Jupiter, Saturn, so Mercury, Venus, yep, interesting, very interesting. There's Uranus, <laughs> Neptune, and whoa, what's that? Is that supposed to be um, the guy that we beat up earlier? Was he Pluto? <laughs> and he's just standing there right now? <sighs> I've really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when we tell him his favorite planet is missing. Oh. Is Pluto missing? Is Pluto considered a planet in the Amora universe in white space? You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him Captain anymore. You have to call him Space Boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ugh. Ah! You know, dude, Sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Oh, okay, so that was like a, a venting roar. <laughs> like, a, a roar of frustration. I was... I thought he, like, saw us or something. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. No, not real jobs! Don't talk nonsense, buddy. What is life for us if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay. Uh, Pluto. Can't examine it or anything, unfortunately. Okay, I guess we just carry on. Ah, this... Yes, this must be the junkyard over here. That makes sense. Oh! What was that? Some sort of worm coming out of a portal? <laughs> I should have known the pun. There we go. I had the most sheepish grin when I realized that its name was Wormhole. Oh my god. Starfruit Soda has been found. Lovely, I'll take it. Okay, any other enemies around? Whoa, who's that? He has got one magnificent mustache. My good men, I am looking for some art. Fear not, for I will know when I have found it. Right, well I suppose one man's trash, right? What do I got over here? I got a backpack! I'll take that. Nothing there. We can go up or down. Let's start by going up. No, that's the actual junkyard entrance. We've got the key for it, so let's go down here. What can we find? What if we find Basil? We don't even need to ask. Uh, hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know. Is it sunny? Oh, we're back at the, um, at the entrance. This is where the ladder is. Uh... There's another wormhole over there. There's plenty to explore, actually. I kind of neglected it. Oh, we can cut our way through? That's a lot of cutting. All for a blanket. Okay. Well, as long as we're secure at night. Do I have to cut all the way down there? Oh, we made it. Hi there. Hey, what's the big idea? I went through all this trouble to isolate myself from society, and then you show up and ruin everything! You better fix this right now! <laughs> Did we just duct tape all the cones together? You help the sprout mole reassemble all the traffic cones. Oh, well, there you go. What's the big idea? Achievement <laughs> unlocked. I knew there'd be an achievement for clearing that because that you have to go through a lot of effort just to get that one line. I thought I was actually going to get a t-shirt, you know? 
I cut all these traffic cones and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. You got a star fruit soda. And there's a wormhole, let's take care of it. Got a uh, watermelon fly trap. Oh, yep, we're gonna fight it. It's a Venus fly trap. I'm pooped after that rigorous hike. I just know I won't be able to feel my legs tomorrow. During our hike just now, I noticed a face indented into a cliff. I wonder what that's all about. Really? A face indented in a cliff? Oh, hello, there you are. Your parents are looking for you, Ducky Jr. The sharks are uh, pretty, huh? I really can lose myself staring into the sky like this. Back on my planet, you can hardly see any stars. When I grow up, I want to be a space captain. Then I'll be able to have this view all the time. Oh, shoot. How long have I been here? Mom and Dad are probably super worried about me. I better head home quick. There we go. A child reunited with his parents. A cool duffel bag. <laughs> oh my. Damn. You belong at a car yard. Turn on the boombox. Wow. This guy... Yeah. He really is cool. <laughs> Some cool energy drinks. Oh man, I'd love one right now. A cup of cool soda. A cool duffel bag. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. Have fun. Oh, what do we have over here? We're gonna explore. We're on an adventure. We're explorers. We're adventurers. Okay, lots of veggie kids. Uh, there's a ladder going into the water, but I think I'm scared of drowning. Yep. Haven't conquered that fear yet. I might need to come back. Jeep. Cattail field. Northeast. Jeep, jeep. Other world campsite. West. Jeep, jeep, jeep. Frozen lake down south. <laughs> okay, a bunch of fleetest fly traps. Let's avoid them for now, or maybe we'll take this one out because it's actually blocking away. Okay, down here we've got a long wharf of sorts. Oh, we could do some ice fishing. Just waiting for the next big catch. <laughs> you wanna go fishing with your friends? Yeah. <laughs> and by fishing with my friends, I mean I'm the only one with a rod. What'd I catch? What'd I catch? I got a crab! You hooked up a crab. And then threw it back into the lake. Cause I'm good. I'm a good boy. Okay, well. That went well. Bunny. Igloo. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> that was, that was something, life jam, um, cold soup, but why, <laughs> good question, what's this, I don't know, but it's not opening, a plastic fish mounted on the wall, hmm. it needs batteries, some fishing rods. They look like they're used often. Refrigerator. But why? <laughs> a cold bed on the floor. But why? A cold lantern. But why? A hole in the ice for convenient fishing. <laughs> as long as it doesn't spread. A cooler full of ice. But why? <laughs> I thought it said nice. Or well, maybe it does say nice. It's a nice container for ice. I am Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Snow cone. Heals a friend's heart and juice and raises all stats for the battle. 5,000 clams. Oh boy. A snow cone machine. Looks like it accepts snow cone tickets. I am sorry, we are out of syrup. Floating hat. Mari, you're here. Ha, <laughs> ha, it's on my head. Hey, Imori. Isn't this place pretty? The snow comes down so slowly. But all the pieces seem to fall right into place in the end. It reminds me to be patient. Hey, I know. We should go ice skating one day. Doesn't that sound fun, Amori? I, I guess. Yeah, it would sound fun. As long as I don't fall through the ice. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, some delightful shaved ice. But why? Okay, what do we have here? A message in a bottle. Do you want to read it? Yeah, could be for me. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Sabri. <laughs> he completed the message and threw the bottle back into the lake. 
Sorry, I didn't even have her permission to do that, but I did it because I can. Oh, no, you can't get me through that fence. But I can get you now that I've come around. Hang on, what's over here? Ooh. Would you like to moonwalk? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just beat it. Just beat it. <sighs> you know how I feel when I look at the man in the mirror? <laughs> When I just grin, when I just, sorry, I'm not even grinning, I just stare into my own soul. Oh, man. Yes. Yes! Okay, let's leave. No, we can only moonwalk in there. But of course we can. What's this? What's the password? No password, no entry. Okay, guess we need to find the password. Well, where are we now? Hello there. A lonely crow picks up the dirt. Doesn't seem to notice you. I see. Okay, well, nothing much going on over there. Let's go this way. Navigating through these fields. Ooh. Okay, got something fluttering over there. A ladder going down. Oh, it's an enemy. Of course it is. These UFOs. I mean, it's not wrong, right? It's an unidentified flying object. Oh god, we got a flying shark plane over there. Let's maybe avoid that. Wow, she's tall. You got can. I can recycle that. Wow, miss. You sure are tall. Thank you, little one. It's more of a hassle most of the time, but I do get a better view of the stars. What? Being tall isn't a hassle. Everything's better when you're tall. Except when you sit in a plane or a bus. One day I'm gonna be as tall as you. Yeah, sure, Cal. Keep dreaming. Man, there is a lot to explore in this game, huh? This is way off the beaten path. I think I was meant to go to the junkyard. We got s'mores. There's another side quest there. Let's fight these uh, unidentified flying oranges and space bunnies. Isn't this guy beautiful? It's nice to know there are so many others out there who share the same view. Yeah, the sky is wonderful. That's a lot of UFOs. Shoot. I know I left my donut somewhere around here. Around here? There it is. I could just eat it. Oh, I can't give it to you? I guess I'm supposed to keep it. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> it's always good to have some jokes on hand. If only you had a joke book to write them down in. Well, hero, can you get me a joke book, please? Well, there's the Scarecrow outstanding in his field. Ah, a stranger. Thank you for having the time to talk with me. I apologize, but I must... I'm afraid I must burden you with a task I cannot complete with my own capabilities. Quite recently and suddenly, a rogue planet burst across the sky at an alarmingly fast pace. My three dearest friends panicked and flew off in separate directions. My three friends are crows, you see, and are not the most friendly nor welcoming of creatures. Well, I believe I've found at least one of them. I'm a bit wary to ask such an immense favor from a complete stranger, but there aren't many who pass through these fields. I don't even know why you're scaring the crows off, to be honest. Are we growing something here? If I may ask, would you be willing to help me find my dear friends? Yes. Oh, thank you, stranger. Words cannot begin to express what this means to me. Now I shall await their return patiently. For as you can see, without them, I am just a stick in the mud. Well, technically you're supposed to scare them away, so... Uh, it just means you're doing your job a little too well, aren't you? And we are attacked. Oh god, here comes the shark plane! Ah, we got intercepted! <laughs> yeah, it's literally called shark plane. I'm not sure what else I expected. Okay, crow number one. The crow doesn't want to talk to you. Perhaps if you were someone more charming? Well, I did just get the charm skill, right? Oh, we got a barn over here. What's inside? Door's locked. Okay, fair enough. There's another UFO probably gonna come after us. What about this crow over here? Doesn't want to talk to me. If I was someone more charming, I don't know how to make myself a bit more charming, unfortunately. 
Hmm. Of course, the UFO is actually an identified flying orange, a highly advanced orange commonly seen aimlessly floating through the vastness of space. It still tastes like an orange, says Kel. <laughs> a mysterious flexing rock. I like his muscles, says Kel. Okay, but well, we don't know what he is. So where does this ladder take us? Oh, okay, we are underground. Got cardboard. Let's explore a little bit. More cardboard. There's just gonna be a lot of cardboard here. Rubber band. We sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures. I'm sure. Most horse. First place! <gasps> Wait, what? How? <laughs> Who did you steal that from? Life jam. Cardboard. Strange table set. <laughs> Who lives here? Uh, let's go down first. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my home. It is humble and small, but it is mine. Fair. I got cardboard. <laughs> nice basketball hoop there. The sprout mole is super glued to the wall. Okay, you you do you. Dead batteries, perfect. Dirty laundry. Down here. Many sprout moles used to inhabit this place, but a lot of them moved away to merge with a bigger colony somewhere in the big forest. It was a risky move, so some of us stayed behind. My brother left with the rest of the sprout moles. Do you think he still remembers me? Uh, depends, I may have accidentally murdered him. Maybe. We're not sure yet. Jury's out on that one. Strange cabinet. Very big TV. Very big sofa chair. My friends used to live in these tunnels, but they all left to look for their missing leader. Do you think they'll ever come back here? Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean, it's good digs. To be honest, I can't imagine why anyone would want to move out. Only to get, like, stabbed by me. You know, like those sprout moles. A shiny telescope. Do you want to check out the view? Hell yeah. Wow. Look at that. There's Saturn again. Even though it kind of exists in that pathway leading to the junkyard. What is that? Like a killer teddy bear with glowing red eyes? Ooh, I really like the art style. It's so cool. It's so unique. Oh, spider. Okay, my, uh, my fear isn't crippling me. That's good, right? Okay, let's move on from that. I think it's about time we actually head to the junkyard. Use the junkyard key. There we go. All right, let's find this mixtape. Junkyard. Hmm. Satellite dishes here. Oh, I've got a key counter at the top right. What's that all about? This feels more like a, one of them storage places, you know, rather than a junkyard. Okay, and cut through these cones. Got rubber band, which I can use to explode a watermelon if I want to as well. A gold watch, in quotation marks. That's concerning. Granola bar. What's that? Uh, a little turbo pad of sorts. Need to get there first. Okay. Oop. So, this is the junkyard, eh? Time to start digging. <laughs> what are we looking for again? Space Boyfriend's special mixtape? Right oh. You think it's gonna be there? Hey, look, I found a can! You got a can. <sighs> I guess that's a start. Is it? It's not even remotely what we're looking for. You got a glass bottle. Lots of recycling gonna be happening soon. Up here, what are we facing off against? A killer TV? No, a killer cassette tape. Kel is digging through trash. Kel finds a piece of chocolate. Oh, well, I suppose I'll take that. <laughs> mixtape! Whoa, we got a supercharged mixtape over here. Oh, it's a boombox, actually. 
Kel's found some tofu. It's a doom box. I stand corrected. Oh man, looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. You might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Omori, you know you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. Kel and Hero have their own special abilities, too. Although, I'm not so sure about Kel. <laughs> just, make sh just make me the leader by t selecting tag in the player menu, or by holding triangle. I'll get rid of this hunk of junk easy peasy. Ah, okay, so that could be how I uh, actually speak with the crows. Okay, alright, uh, you know what, before we move on, I'm gonna try that out. And see if I can get those crows to return to their, uh, master, or nemesis. I don't know what their relationship's like. I just take the cue from the name, Scarecrow. Okay, hero, do your thing. <laughs> There's the charm. Hey there, little guy. Your friend Mr. Scarecrow really misses you, you know? I can help you find him if you like. Okay. Please do. If it's not too much of a bother, I miss him too. There we go. One down. Awesome. Okay. I was trying to figure out how to use his charm ability. Turns out I just need to make him the party leader. Here's little guy number two. <laughs> hey, buddy. You want me to take you back to your friend, Mr. Scarecrow? Oh, yes, 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 where's my friend? Take me to him. Done. One more to go. Where is it? I already see two hanging off his arms. Third one must be nearby somewhere. The tentacle is poking out of the ground. Here he is. Greetings, my feathered friend. Would you like to return to Mr. Scarecrow? I can't wait to be with you again. Go, go. Ah, yes, that would be immensely desirable. Immensely. Oh, God. More oranges! Well, Mr. Scarecrow, I hope you're happy. My friends! They all have returned. I cannot thank you enough for your help. Now it is time for me to take my leave. Goodbye, kind stranger. I hope we will meet again one day. You're launching too? Oh, I suppose you're being lifted. <laughs> wow. If I didn't know any better, I'd say the crows were kidnapping the scarecrow. To take him out. I got a five-leaf clover. That's more luckier than the uh, three-leaf clover I have. And more luckier is not how you say that phrase. Alright, I see your son has safely returned, Mr. Ducky. Hey, it's you. Thank you for finding Ducky Jr. Can you stop running off, you little rascal? We're supposed to be on vacation. Give your old man some time to relax. Okay. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, travelers. My son said he wanted to give you something as a token of our thanks. Give them the gift, Ducky! <laughs> oh, it's on top of the bookshelf. Nice. What is it? Here you go. You got a dandelion. That's my boy! Next time you want to go outside, you'd better let us know first, okay? You wouldn't want to make Mom worry again, would you? No. Great! means we can finally spend some quality family time together. Now go to your mom. Goes the long way. <laughs> Quest complete. Alright. We can go to the junkyard now, guys. Gonna need your help, Aubrey. Shift some rubble around. Here we go. Oh, wow, okay. She doesn't push it out of the way. She just obliterates it. I see. Okay. Well, uh, let's keep going. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Another can. Jeez. How did so many recyclables end up in the junkyard? That is very disappointing, considering the recycling machine is, you know, right next door. A glass bottle. Oh, no. It's a 90s office computer and telephone. Kel's digging through trash. Kel didn't find anything. That's unfortunate. Got dial-up and mixtape. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, we have defeated Dial-Up, which is great, because <laughs> I've always longed to defeat Dial-Up. I see a key over on the right side of the screen, which uh, we are supposed to keep track of. A flower puzzle! Yes! I can complete that request, uh, that quest and request uh, over at the Forest Playground. Uh, I guess this is gonna just send us back here, okay. Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot! Switch up those conveyor belts for us already! Zzz. 
Mm, food person. You can't just yell orders at people, Cal. Jeez, have some tact, will you? No, no, there's no need to fuss. I'll handle this one. Tag me, Omori. Yes, that's right, you charming... I was about to say something bad, but no, you charming... friend. <laughs> <clears throat> Greetings, sir, conveyor bot. My companions and I request your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please help us? Uh, mm, nice person. Okay. Done. Alright. I'm guessing this is locked. The gate is locked. You could probably open it using a junkyard key. Oh, right. Okay. So we only had the one, which opens the front entrance. But any others, we need to secure the keys. Interesting that the junkyard keys are lying in the junkyard. Okay, I can't hop off the conveyor belt. I have to ride it the entire way. But here we are. We got Comet Hammer. Nothing on the bookcase. Glasses Ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. Oh, uh, do you need help getting out of here? Uh, I can switch the conveyor belts. In fact, I'm going to have to. Here we are. Okay, we'll go on this one this time. Here we are. Okay. There's a toilet, which had ramen in it, which is kind of concerning and unhygienic. We should probably just feed that to Kel. Uh-oh. What's in there? A dinosaur? Uh, it's the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> hey kids, I'm the Life Jam guy. I sell Life Jam. It really works. Would you like a free demo? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the kind of demo we're getting. Let's uh, knock the life out of the life jam guy. Oh, wow. He turned us all into toast. But I did not succumb. Life jam guy, use life jam. It really works. We got life jam. Times three. Okay. Uh, where is my life jam? Life jam guy explains the benefits of life jam. Enjoy your free samples! Goodbye now! <laughs> I already used the, the free samples though. How'd you like my free demo? Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you loved it. Oh, I, I see you're still hurt. No worries, I'll heal you. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. You can't just demonstrate life jam by assaulting us. That's a weird marketing tactic. Hey, you want to try out Life Jam? Let me just beat you to a pulp. Very good, yes? Now, would you like to buy some Life Jam? It'll only cost you 250 clams. Oh, no, I'm good for now. Ha, ah, that's okay. You'll need to later. <laughs> Ominous warning. Okay. Thank you, Life Jam guy. Well. Alright. Let's go over here. Let's grab that key. Got a junkyard key. Times one. Uh, swap that over. I'm just staying as Hero. I don't know if he um, is the only one that can switch out the conveyor belts. Let's just uh, come here for the nice shortcut. Open sesame. Is the mixtape in here? Let's find out. We're going in. Oh wow, another ladder? Oh my, we've got some sort of shrine. Interesting. A photo of someone familiar. Who? If they're, if they're familiar, who are they? We've got Life Jam! Haha! -ha. Someone tossed away their free sample, I guess. Jeez, we're really high up, huh? Okay, is there anything hidden away? Doesn't look like it. Another mixtape that we can fight off. Uh, let's go. Mari, you're- oh my god, yes please. A perfectly roasted chicken. Would you like to eat some? Yeah. Sorry, I probably should have spoken with you first. But, I mean, it just looks so delicious. Okay. Hey everyone, hope you're all enjoying yourselves. I cleared out the junk here and found a perfectly good roasted chicken. See ya, Mari? Cleaning has its benefits. Wait, what? No, we ate roast chicken found in the junkyard? Ah, oh, I should have asked first, I knew it. This is why you don't just grab food that's there. Yep. I need to set an example for my sometimes messy little brother. You want to have a picnic with your friends? Okay. Why not? Ugh. 
This place is so gross and stinky. My nose can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's so, mu there's so much treasure around. I'm gonna swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and then afterwards, we should recycle them in a recycling machine. I'm sure we passed by one on the way to Captain Sp- I mean, Space Boyfriend's place. Ugh. Forget cans. We gotta find that special mixtape and get out of here. Aw, oh, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. If anything, just think about all the good recycling we'll do for the environment. <laughs> yeah, come on, Aubrey. Do it for the environment. Well, no more protests. I guess we're gonna do it for the environment. Uh, hey guys. Are you guys, uh, bodyguards of some kind? <laughs> Over. <laughs> <laughs> Over. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know what they're guarding, but let's let's just back off. Oh, what do we have up there? Oh. Ow! Ow! What the? What gives? <laughs> well, what do you know? There's a weak point on its head. I rec I can recognize one of those anywhere. Let's try throwing something at it. I'm sure that'll work. Is that your expertise there? That platform looks like a good place to throw from. Tag me, I got this. I knew it. Only you would serve to annoy someone like that. <laughs> Tagged. Okay, let's go. Uh, how do I throw something? Just press X? Oh. Well, that did the trick. Let's go, lead the way. Damn, some of these garages are really big, huh? There's dial-up trying to attack me again, please. I left you behind. Back in the early 2000s. Rubber band. Donut. Now we're finding a lot of food in the junkyard, I'm getting kind of concerned. Uh, for our stomachs. Uh-oh, we got a giant cheese in the way. Do we have to attack it? Oh no. Even Aubrey can't even move it. It's no good, I can't even dent this thing. Hold on a sec. This is cheese, isn't it? Whoa, you're right. It is cheese. Okay, guys. Hear me out. This might sound crazy, but... What if... We eat the cheese? I mean, that's what I was thinking. If we all start now, we could probably finish this in a couple hours or so. And just a warning, though. Cheese gets me kind of gassy. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm glad you, you warned us. Ew, Cal! Uh, hold up, Kel. There's no need for that. I think I may have the perfect solution. Tag me, Amori. I know just how to handle this. You're gonna charm the cheese? Okay. Go for it. I don't know if it's, um... <laughs> if it'll respond to your advances. What? You just summoned... Hello, friends. It's me, Gimmes, the humble, hungry hamster. Oh wow, is this all for me? What a treat! How did you know that cheese is my favorite? I don't have to guess, EMS. Or is it M's? <laughs> Everything is your favorite. Everyone? Yeah, it is M's. This is Emily the hamster. Well, I just call her M's. She's a really good friend of mine. You know what to do, M's. I sure do. Be done in a jiffy. Yeah, see? We don't need a couple of hours in your gassiness, Kel. We've got M's on our team. Whoa! How does all of that even fit in her body? Beats me. I, I try not to think about it. That was incredibly satisfying. If you are ever in need of any giant cheese eating services again, you know who to call. Goodbye, friends! And just like that, Hims is gone. Oh, there's a sprout. Okay. That was weird. So you just walk off? You don't want to loiter around and figure out why it, why it happened? Okay. <sighs> How are we supposed to find anything in here? There's just way too much junk. Wait, were we looking for something? <laughs> oh! At long last, I finally found it. After countless hours of digging and digging, this one-of-a-kind, ultra-exclusive special mixtape finally belongs to me. Rosa! 
the number one sweetheart fan in the world. With this one-of-a-kind addition to my collection, I will finally surpass all those lame posers out there. Wait. Oh no. This special mixtape. It smells like doo-doo. Oh no. I smell- I smell like doo-doo. Hold on, did she just say she found a special mixtape? That's what we've been looking for! Oh yeah! Let's go get it! I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Just as I suspected, owning something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. Oh ho ho ho! What's the matter, are you jealous? This special mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you. Not now, not ever. Hey, we didn't come all the way out here for nothing. If you don't give us that special mixtape, we'll have to take it by force. Eee! Such savage behavior! Violence never solved anything, you know. Well, it will solve this. <laughs> I'm too much refined for this nonsense. Farewell, peons, and see you never. Wait, come back here! Hurry, Amori, after her! We can't let her get away! <laughs> run, run, run! He'll never catch me, stick legs! Ow. Who are you calling stick legs? Your feet are hardly <laughs> thicker than sticks. Wait! I need to recycle these cans! Come back here! Alright, surround her! No! Come on, guys, split up! Oh, go. Oh. Let's check if there's any- yeah, I knew it. There would be ramen in there. <laughs> and a rain cloud. Maybe she can slip and fall if I toss this rain cloud ahead of us. Where'd she run off to? Damn it! I wasn't paying attention, I lost her! Down. Down! Mari? Did you do that? Uh, tag. Tag. Boom. Oh, you wait until we introduce this bat to your head, Rosa. Not that I'm advocating for violence against something that, uh, you know, we shouldn't really be trying to hunt you down and knock you out for. I see you're keeping yourselves busy. I hope you're all having a fun adventure. If you're ever feeling wary, don't forget you can always rest up at my picnics. Big Sister is always prepared. Well, thank you. I think we're fine for now, though. Do not cross. Well, she did. She's surrounded by TVs? <sighs> Rosa! We finally caught you! Now give us back that special mixtape! What's with her? Uh-oh. What happened? Is she, like, paralyzed? Petrified? Hey, Rosa! Can you hear us? Huh? I wonder why she isn't responding. Let's take a closer look. Uh, kind of don't want to cross. It says not to cross. I crossed. Oh no. <laughs> Dial up. We have to find a download window that's at zero seconds complete. Oh, zero seconds left, sorry. 99% complete. Okay, attack it. Get rid of this thing. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by nostalgia. It's the worst enemy ever. It's at 99%. Damn, still got a ways to go. Man, and it would always be the worst because you can't pause these downloads back in the day. You had to commit to the entire thing. And, you know, nowadays downloading 2-3 gigs worth of uh, data is nothing. Back then, it would be like an overnight job that you had to leave. And the worst thing would be to wake up and see that the download failed. I remember when download managers first came out, they were like a huge thing because you could actually pause and save download progresses. Oh god, it's crashing and burning. It's a lot of damage we all just took. We're so close to finishing it off though, I'm committed. Come on guys, get rid of it. Shut it down. There we go. <sighs> Level 10, and we learned hack away. Alt F4. What? Just happened. Who cares? We gotta take that, that special mixtape. Oh no, she's stuck in the download window. <laughs> huh? What in the world? Hey, that's mine! Give it back! No way, it's Finders Keepers. We're putting this back in Space Boyfriend's boombox where it belongs. Hmm? Space... Boyfriend? You say? Oh ho 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 ho! You, oh you ignorant child. Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a very reputable source who tells me that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart have long since parted ways. Why do you think this special mixtape is in the junkyard in the first place? It's because Space Boyfriend threw it away himself! Space Boyfriend threw away the special mixtape himself? Uh oh. That's not good. 
But if Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart aren't together anymore, how will we ever wake up Space Boyfriend now? The future of the once great coalition of space pirates is depending on us. Huh. That sounds like your problem, not mine. Well, you know what sounds like your problem, Rosa? The fact that we have the special mixtape. Wait just a second. How do you know we're not... How do we know you're not lying about all this? You could just be trying to get this special mixtape back. It crossed my mind. Well, I... Never! I may be rude and pretentious, but I'm not a liar. Like, we trust you. That's exactly what a liar would say. I think we'll just keep the special mixtape and see for ourselves. Now scram, you ugly plant creature. Go bother someone else. Man, to be fair, she found it first, and <laughs> we stole it off her, and now we're, like, hurling these insults. Oh my, so rude. Poor Rosa. <laughs> You'll pay for this, stupid boy. Mark my words. Okay, I mean, obviously she's she's retaliating now. Yeah, walk away. Damn, at least we have legs. You just got feet. Even if we have stick legs. Okay, that should lead us back to uh, the entrance. Hang on, let's have a look. I think there's a couple of things I missed.